Genuinely, you guys, this is my favorite design in Star Rail right now. She's not hot. She's not cute. This person is like ethereal. This person is gorgeous. Like she is beautiful. <laughs> Just one moment, one moment, please. <laughs> let me, let me, uh, let me put it a little bit lower. Let me put it a little bit lower. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> I just want to be right there. I think that's perfect. I feel like I'm being caressed in her arm, you know? What's up, YouTube? What's up, gamers? Today, we are going to be watching and reacting and ranking every single Honkai Star Rail character trailer that is out right now. Patch 1.4. And then we will be ranking them. The categories are best trailer ever, enjoyable, super solid, okay, and the forbidden mid category. Bum, bum, bum! Thank you to Goddess of Victory Nikkei for sponsoring this video. Nikkei is an immersive sci-fi RPG shooter where you can collect various different characters that each have unique combat specialties to create your ideal team. Right now, Nikkei is celebrating their one year anniversary event which means tons of new content, including the new story event featuring Red Ash, which is fully voiced with tons of CGs as well as a brand new minigame. Nikkei is also introducing a brand new character, Red Hood, as well as brand new skins for Dorothy, Harlan, and Privity. Take on new main chapters 25 and 26, now with more accessible battles and face the epic challenge of a brand new boss. But that's not all! Enjoy up to 60 advanced recruitment vouchers, 25 recruitment vouchers, and don't forget, a free pull every single day during the Red Hood banner. If you like high quality art, immersive gameplay, and real time combat strategy, then use my link down in the description below and join the world of Nikkei. We're gonna start with March 7th's trailer. I'm very biased towards March 7th. She is my favorite character thus far. I adore March 7th. Content and development not indicative of Whoa. final quality. Oh, look at her! And then like it's starting to get like a little slower. Oh, she's getting traumatized a little bit. Oh! <laughs> yeah, she's so cute! Oh, the music! So they have the actual like showcasing of abilities that they always do in the trailers. Wait, this music goes kind of hard. I love her! I love her. She's so... Guys, I'm so parasocial about March 7th. Hold on, and, and guys, I'm really parasocial about March 7th, okay? I'm trying so hard, but like, she's really cute. Personally, I enjoyed this a lot, and like the fact that we had a lot of shots of her, we had a we had the slow down a bit when it was going into like her, her little bit of like the trauma, and then we went back with like really super solid music, and I really liked the first person POV at the very end, where she just like looks at us and then like pouts, and then like that one's like really cute. And, and it's everything I would really enjoy in a trailer personally. It's not best trailer ever category. I know, I know that much. But you also have to keep in mind, this was the first character trailer. Do you remember Genshin Impact first character trailers? Because it wasn't that good. This, for the first one, is crazy good production. And just like, like so cute. It's like at a minimum, super solid but i personally found this extremely enjoyable like yeah thoroughly i thoroughly enjoyed that like it's not the best one but like everything about it from start to finish i was happy and i was enjoying like i was enjoying it fully you know march 7th enjoyable love you queen all right what's like the four stars the few four stars i got trailers oh gosh i love serval keep up i move at my own tempo God, I love her. Also, her voice actress did such a good like job of singing this. Oh, this part's so cool. I'm just like 
in like awe from Serval. Okay, that one's good, but there's significantly less stuff happening. You know what I mean? It's in between these two categories, so I don't, I don't know if I want to put her like the like over here. Just say it's not mid. I I enjoyed it. It's in between super solid and okay. Okay feels like low. Oh, super solid. Maybe I should just change it to solid. Uh. Very good. I think this is a better layout. Low solid, I think, is 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 probably the best place for her. Bye, Lou. Hard to stay cool in this dry weather. External heat needs inner cooling. Internal heat needs outer soothing. And if you're still not sure, there's more than one here. Ooh, this music is nice. Wait, that's cute. I feel like Bailu's is the only one where this isn't her splash art. Is she the only one who doesn't have hers as her splash art? Serval and March had different. Did they? I wasn't paying that much attention. <laughs> I like this music a lot, though. They're getting more fancy with their edits. They're playing with, like, the perspective a lot more with the attacks now. Ooh! Wait, I really like this. I really like this music. That looks like Gara's thing on his back. Okay. Oh, wait, there's still more. The music for this one was really good. Wait, is she trying to catch her own tail? That's kind of cute. I think it's better than Serval's. But I still enjoyed March's more. It's better than Serval's as like an overall standpoint, but I enjoyed March 7th's better. I'm trying really hard to be fair and not letting my bias to wanting to punt children take over my like my 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 rankings. You know, we got to keep people on their toes. This is going to be this is going to be really hard for me to try to stay objective. I'm going I'm, I'm really going to have to uh to sit down and like really really focus to not allow my rage to take over my soul. Swordsmanship isn't just about mm. skills. You have to put them to the test if you want to learn. What makes me upset is like they're getting better like each each trailer. So like Already, you can see a quality improvement. Just like the, the first five seconds of this, you see the objective quality improvement in the camera angles and the panning, and that pisses me off. If you're not busy today, wanna go a few rounds? No. Lock with Cloud Knight, Luke no, see, that's his splash art. They used his splash art here. They got lazy with his. Strong adversaries make the strong improvements. Okay, the build up here, I can, I can hear it. Oh. Not bad. You did better than most. God, he's so annoying. Oh, his music is good. His music is really good. For today's practice. Sword sheet. Okay, I'm not even I'm trying not to be biased, okay? I didn't enjoy I I didn't enjoy that. Like, I... Objectively, they were getting better at, like, the graphics and, like, the panning. But that's it. The The actual enjoyment level of the trailer, I think, was less than the last three. Be for real, okay? The enjoyment factor of that trailer was significantly less than the other three. Like, that's it. It was okay. I'm not putting it in mid because I know there's worse trailers. Yeah, there wasn't a lot of energy, exactly. Like, there were really, like, technically impressive shots, but they weren't, like, you know, like, it wasn't in my soul. It, it, it wasn't in my soul. We need an E4 category. Why you guys gotta hurt me like this, hmm? All right, Himeko. Fun fact, Himeko's trailer was the first Honkai Star Rail trailer that I actually reacted to and made a video about. And she started the line of me reacting to Star Rail trailers on YouTube. Thank you, Himeko, for starting an era on my channel. Well, the trailer's just- I love the music on her trailer. And then our journey is 
the She's so pretty. Oh, Marshmallow Baby. The of possibility. I am Amy. They yeah, they're using her splash art too. To the Express. What the happened? Doesn't... Um, you guys, in, in this shot. Have a clear destination. She's making sure her fingers are groomed because she's about to finger bang your mom. What the hell? I love the music in her trailer. Oh, this music is... Wait. Sorry, I just noticed something. I just noticed something. Himeko's trailer has violin. You know who else's trailer has violin? Kafka. And you know who else? Topaz. Is there a little love triangle happening over there? Hmm? Hmm? Oh, this beat is so good. She's so pretty. Just begun. She's so pretty. Okay. The music, phenomenal. She looked amazing. It was okay. Overall, it was okay. It wasn't the best. It wasn't the worst. I enjoyed it more than Yan Ching's. But there was just less happening, you know? It, it, it was just a little bit more calm. Even biased. Um, it's a good trailer. But um, it's not, like, in my top 10 favorites. And there's only 16. I, I, think, it's, I think it's in the okay. I, I'm putting it in the okay category. Just like her DPS. Exactly. All right, Jeppy's trailer. I'm a captain of the Silver Main Guards. Hey, Jeppy. He's so baby girl. My responsibility and my honor. Oh, Bronya was in his for a second. Yeah, so for like a while there, were you just using Splash Art? When did they switch off of Splash Art? You will know justice. You will know justice. This ends here. Acting like he punches people. Yeah, there's your case. Ooh, this music? Here to the end. I love like the guitar in his. Trust must never be betrayed. Oh, oh that part's cool. The best part of Jeppy's trailer is like what is this part though? Okay. I'm moving Himeko up to solid and I'm putting Jeppy in okay. I I think this is correct. I needed more like of of to hear more trailers. It was an okay trailer. It was kind of boring. It was a little bit on the boring side. So this is the start of the limited trailers. And I think this is like truly when Star Rail started to actually put in a lot of effort into the trailers. And so we should start being able to see that um in the production quality of the trailers now going forward. I remember really like Celie's trailer. I remember really enjoying it. Already like the ooh the vibes. Oh, here they come again. Wait, don't let her get away. <laughs> so I just remember in like my OG Steely React video, I remember you know editing uh the girl right here like her running away like. Da -da 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 -da. Wait, who's running? Is that a random child or is that like person gonna be relevant? Is this just an NPC? <laughs> like I I distinctly remember that. Oh god, Steely's so cool. And also, the drop on Steely's uh, trailer goes so much harder than every other trailer. Like, come on. And like, there's like a story arc happening here. Aw, yeah. She's disappearing among the sea of butterflies. Like, they're doing so, like, the camera angles, like, can we just appreciate the camera angles? Like, the way that the music is playing along, like, with, like, their cuts. Like, this is so much better quality than, like, everything else that we've seen thus far, like, trailer-wise. And the only thing that makes it better. Looks like you could use it. I mean, I mean. They knew their demographic. They knew what they were doing. Putting Bronya in Seelie's trailer and truly making it like a dynamic duo. They fully knew what they were up to. And the way that the music, oh, look at the mega team. And they're so stupid. I love them. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> So stupid. I love them so much. They're in love. They're in love. Do you ever think about when Bronya was crying and Celie was just like, wah, wah, wah. I, I think about that a lot. There's always a weakness. 
And like they're showing off like they're so stupid. I love them. And they work so good together. God, that shot. Stop holding me back, overworlder. I'm sure she didn't call her princess here. This part was crazy. They were crazy for that. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. I feel like she said illusions of the past differently there. I'm gonna put it right there. It's going in the top of the very good category. There's a reason it's not in the best trailer ever. Only one can make it into best trailer ever, all right? And we all know which one is going there. Things can change. I can move things around, but but for now, it's going to be the, the, the top of very good. All right, Jing Yans. Hmm. This is like when I still like didn't oh, hate Yanqing yet. Decided yet. Uh, mm. <clears throat> Your turn, General. Bold indeed. Can I say a hot take? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I've never seen. I have never seen so many people tell me no. I've never seen. So hot take. I don't get the Jingyu and hype. I don't understand why why everyone loves him. I don't get it. Like I don't understand the hype. Yes, his voice actor is amazing. Sure, he looks cool and whatever. But other than that, he doesn't really do anything. Like in the story, he doesn't really do anything. He kind of just shows up and then goes away. You know, girl, you love Guai Nai Fen. Hey, look, I also don't get the Kafka hype, so I get it. Yeah, listen, and Guai Nai Fen, listen, she's a streamer. That's me. I understand that. That's me. <laughs> This music is great though. I like the beat of him putting it down with like the beat of the music. That was that was very smooth. They're definitely upping their camera movement quality at this point. Like, I think like graphic wise, this is the best one so far. Oh dear. Time for the master stroke. That's what she said. This music is so like ethereal in a way. Show no mercy. Show no mercy. I feel like that is the top of solid right now. Top of solid and a very good. Objectively, that's a very good trailer. I, th I think that's a very good trailer. It's just because I don't particularly care about him that like, it doesn't like push it over for me. I just think it's very solid. It's super solid. Okay, I'm gonna have to try really hard not to be biased on this one. I'm gonna have to be really biased. Okay, before we even watch it, this is my favorite trailer. Technical quality aside, pure enjoyment factor, I like this the most. Like she's literally playing Honkai Impact, you guys. Like she's playing herself. She's playing Brony. <laughs> You're about to lose. <laughs> I wanted to like degrade me. I can do this in my sleep. But I don't mind an easy mode run. Oh, this is so good, bro. This music is so good. Warm ups over. Also, I feel like Silver Wolf has like the best like shots when it comes to, like the trailer. Oh, this is so good. It's so bright and colorful and there's so much happening. Oh, that's such a good trailer. I think what I really like about Silver Wolf's trailer, her specifically was the first time my opinion changed about a character because of the trailer. Initially, I didn't like her when I first saw her. I was full planning on skipping her banner. I just wasn't a fan of like her design. But then I watched the trailer and fully, my opinion, 180 shifted and I like fell in love with her character. Her companion quest along with this trailer like changed my mind completely. It's such a fun trailer, but who knows? Maybe I'll rewatch Kafka's and I'll be like, ooh, actually no. Like, maybe, like, Kafka's is objectively better than Silver Wolf. But right now, out of the ones that we have watched, it is the best one thus far. Like, by, like, a long shot. All right, Locha. Sussy-ass coffin, man. 
Guard your road. Remember. Ooh, I forgot how his went. It's a lot more like soft. Out among the stars. Though I am but a trap. His his feels so romantic. Like the music is very romantic. I see, I think Colin's in the coffin. He is so pretty. Like, see, he saved a child. He probably hasn't committed mass murder. Oh, the music. But I still need a pair of eyes. God. To witness your promise. Whose promise? Whose promise? I think that's solid. Maybe a little closer to the okay category. It's better than Jeppy's. No, I think it's better than Himeko's. I'm putting Himeko back down. <laughs> He's more. It's more enjoyable than Himeko's. Honestly, I'd argue it's probably more enjoyable than Serval's as well. I have not rewatched Blade since I first reacted to it. I've watched Kafka's a lot though. I love the spider lily aesthetic. Okay. Right off the bat, the typography that he got immediately into this trailer. If you guys remember my Genshin trailer reaction, I'm a sucker for typography. And also the music is so good. Like, this is like AMV level, like K-pop stan edits. My sword will be the last thing you see. I have to remind you guys that voice actor is Linny from Genshin Impact. Welcome to Linny and Lynette's magic show. My sword will be the last thing you see. Like this is there's so much they more going on. Guilty. Like the tone shift from Lochas to this. Yet they've fallen too far. I love the use of color in this trailer as well. <laughs> this part is crazy. <laughs> this? They were crazy for that. Until your sin is cleansed, my thing. I forgot how good of a trailer this was. I forgot how I forgot that, that was an amazing trailer. Holy, that was a really good trailer. God damn. I'm gonna put that. I think it's better than Celie's trailer. You know how heavily biased towards Celie I am. I'm heavily biased towards Celie, but you can't deny Blade's trailer was just better. The music was insane. The amount of like editing and graphics like they put into that was like crazy. I can, can, I can admit this is a phenomenal trailer and that's a really, really good trailer. That's as unbiased as I can get about it. All right, it's time to watch Dramatic Irony. Oh, <laughs> Sorry, the fingers, man. Guys, I've never wanted to be a wall so badly in my entire life. God damn, just caress me like that. Bum, bum. Target spot. Oh my god, Topaz is people. God. Don't be afraid. <laughs> Listen to me. Wasn't it you who invited me? Bro, this shot of her. Dude, this is so good. Case in point. Dude. Like, they... They truly went all out. Like, they made custom animations for Kafka for this. And, like, the music? Oh, oh my god, this part. Look at what she takes off her jacket. To wear this one. Gosh, she's so... This part's so cool. Now then. Where are you hiding? Boom. Boom. Oh god, I love her. Sooner or later, the It should have been me. Fall. Bro, it should have been me. As for the ending. Wanna take a guess? Bro. Heads or tails. What's your answer? Woof. Woof woof. 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 I'll give you head. It's not 
not even a competition how good that trailer is, man! It's not even a freaking competition! That trailer is amazing! Oh my god, that trailer is like life-changing! Everything about that trailer is so freaking good! If you guys think I'm bad right now, can you imagine Ruan May's trailer? I just, just, just you guys, 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 guys. A scion of permanence. Embarbada Lune, successor of the Azure Dragon, commander of the clouds and the rain, tasked with watching over All right, Danny the boy. Arbor. Guilty of unpardonable sins. Punishable by death. God, Finkley is so hot, bro. I just feel like this trailer, after Kafka's, is so like, you know, like right, like just right after Kafka's. Like all of these scenes were stuff that we actually already saw in the trailer, like the, uh, the patch trailer. So it wasn't, when we saw this, when this one first came out, we didn't see anything new. Yeah, let's let's be real here. It was all footage that we saw before beforehand because all of it was in the patch trailer. They really didn't try as hard on Don Hung Il's trailer because the animation cinematic for him was amazing. That was phenomenal. This trailer was not. And I mean, that's just how it is. He got better things because he also got a Mirad Celestia trailer and the animation. So like they made it up for Don Hung Il. But yeah, this is uh, this one. is Yeah, the Do Don Hung's was kind of mid. All right. Fu Xuan. Fallen petals bed the ground. All is preordained. And what is seen through I'm surprised at how much I like Fu Xuan. Destined to be realized. Now that all elements of the past have taken their places, <laughs> the future sits within my reach. I love the color palette for her trailer. As clear as daylight. The cycles of yin and yang never cease. God, her ult is so pretty. I think she has like one of the prettiest ults. Please, 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 please. <laughs> Chinchu is the best part of this trailer, though. Unironically. Even the monkey. <laughs> oh, this part's good. Though all things in the universe have their own inherent principles, the choice between real and woe lies in our own hands. Be vigilant of three things. Fire, and teammates. <laughs> Although the general's comments are crude, they're not the last logical. Ching Shui, your thoughts? <laughs> <laughs> we are part of the Fu Xuan Ching Shui Nation. I do ship it. I think that one is in solid. I think it's it's one of the better solid ones. It's better than Jing, uh, Jing Gen's, but I still enjoyed March 7th more. God, they really just went so hard on the Stellaron Hunters. And then it's my favorite characters. <laughs> All right, Jing Lu's trailer. I'm gonna be really honest with you guys about this trailer specifically. I only remember one thing about this trailer and one thing alone. Oh my God, it's DreamWorks. The darkening mists shroud the radiant moon. I love Bound Amelie's voice. Blindness. One is cast in. I need a fan before they show me what's about to happen. Tamara, with a sharp blade. Oh wait, wrong image. That's all I want. That's all I want, man. Yet still powerless against God, the, why did they do that with the hands? This is like, who at Hoyo was like, yeah, let's do this. Hey guys, I have a great idea. With this blade as my core, the inner self is purged. Remnants of the past return with the snow. This part's cool. I love the moon aesthetic. All will be revealed in lunar flame. 
Oh, the crazy eyes. I kind of wish she had, like, the no pupils in her eyes normally, like Kafka. And so I wield my blade to the very end. Until the stars have been cut down from the sky. This oath I will never forsake. Okay. She's at the bottom of solid. If they didn't include the hand thing, she would have been an okay. I think this, this is the correct choice. Like, let's be real here. Let's be real here. Guys, the trailer was kind of boring. Aside from the hands, what is one thing that happened during that entire trailer? I can't tell you anything other than the hand thing and like maybe DreamWorks. But like the, the ultra was kind of, the, 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 the entire trailer was kind of, just kind of there. All right, the most recent trailer for Topaz. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to I love Topaz's trailer. Did you guys already see like the tone shift? Okay, listen, this is me dogging on Lofu for like the hundredth time. Once we leave the Lofu, the trailers get a lot better. I'm just saying, when all of a sudden we're not in the Lofu, the trailers get better, they're more hype. I think I just like the this aesthetic better. I'm not a Lofu girl, I'm just not. Not into the Space China aesthetic, I'm sorry. God, I wanna- Bro, I would do anything to be numby in this situation, dude. The further you run, the bigger it gets. Give up the chase and pay up the debts. God, I love her. Still not following. Bro. Then why not learn from the pro? It's the freaking great Gatsby meme. One. Balancing the books is a moral imperative. Default and pay double. Two. I want her to step on me so badly. And the, the freaking the freaking thigh mole, dude. What is it, Miss Topaz? What a delightful surprise. <laughs> Hold it. <laughs> Beware gifts. Like Beware she gets the bully sampo, like bruh. Three in negotiation. I Choose love this part. Over familiarity. Madam Herda, your account has been frozen. <laughs> this is last month's bill. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> the way she runs away. Here, Miss Asta. Just swipe it. That's me. It's me every time I lose a 50-50. <laughs> Four. In business, there are no permanent enemies. Oh, the violence coming in. All Bronya. Looks like they've run into trouble. All right, none I okay. This shot of Looks Topaz like specifically. This is such a nice shot of Topaz. Oh no, she's getting ready to do something with those fingers. That smirk and the way she's she's repositioning this glove. Bro, your your butthole is not safe from her. You don't need to worry. She's gonna treat you well and with respect. Don't worry. Making friends can God, I love Topaz. To this bro you know, right now, in the corner, Seelie's, like, seething, like, Hook is, like, grabbing onto Seelie's leg, Natasha's holding onto her arms, and Seelie's trying real hard to go fight Topaz right now, like, behind the scenes, like, fully. Class is over. I would come to this TED Talk. That's all for today. What I really like about... What I really like about Topaz's trailer specifically is how it's a different format than all the other trailers. They really focus a lot more on just like character interaction. It's way more story building than anything else, which I mean, I like. I don't know if it's better than Blades. I can't tell if it's below or above Blades. I think I'm gonna go... Mm, I personally like Topaz's more than I like Blades. Personally, not even just character development wise. I found personal enjoyment more from Topaz's, but it, it, in your guys' minds, they can be equal. Whichever one you prefer out of the two can change their position. But I personally enjoy the style of Topaz's trailer better than the style of Blades' trailer. But they are both objectively very good trailers. My bias is putting Topaz above Blade, but I think they're pretty much equal. And maybe even Blades is a little bit better in quality, but my enjoyment factor of Topaz's takes it like to another level that I, I I don't get from Blades, personally. So I think this is my list for the character trailers. 
Thank you guys so much for making it this far in this video. Let me know what you would have ranked your videos. Or if you want to fight me down below, make sure to uh, leave a comment and subscribe. Uh, bye.